2 du. All right, so the way I look at this is we live a good life, but bad things happen in it. So this, these are people that I live my everyday with. Um, we go on adventures all the time. And this was in front of the IGA uh, at the little antique shop. We decided to get a picture there, so that's just my opening for it. When I was three, my parents got divorced, and my mom got remarried when I was five, and my dad just got married this year. So this is them. Uh, there's not much to it. I go to their houses weekly. Yep. And I have one sibling that travels with me. Everywhere I go, he's been with me 24-7. I was one and a half, so I really do not remember a time when he was not around. Um, he's younger, right? Yes, he's a year younger. Um, we have gone through many adventures together, and when we fight, we do this like little bickering thing where I'm like, Jaden, knock it off, and he's like, stop, because he doesn't like to yell at me, and I just, I'm very stern with him, so he'll like, go back, we'll go back and forth for a second, and mom will be like, knock it off, and I'm like, mom, stay out of it, and we'll be done with it in like three seconds, don't worry about it, because we get along, like, great. Um, this was a picture at my mom's wedding. And I have no idea where that picture is taken or when. I just thought it was a pretty nice, awesome picture. The story about Jaden is he is very alert, although he doesn't talk much. Uh, he was in the bathroom, and I was like, all right, this is my time to shine. I'm going to scare him. So I went and hit around the corner for about seven minutes, waiting for him to come out of the bathroom. And I, uh, he had, we were just singing the Black Eyed Peas song, like, uh, boom, boom, pow, gotta get, get it, that one. All right, so he opens up the bathroom door and he walks out and I was like, gotta get, get it, and he went this and throat chopped me, like out of reaction, and I like dropped to the ground. I was like, and I, was, and I was like, I just tried singing to you. And he was like, yep, that's what you get. And he like walked away and went back into his room. So that's about our relationship where we have each other's backs. All right, so in 2014, my grandma and grandpa's house burned down, and that was really rough for our family for a while, and it was like right during the Frog and Toad musical, which we were in, so like rehearsal was really, really bad. Um, I was 14 in that picture. It was before this. It was, I, yeah, childhood, growing up, puberty, great. It went great. Well, that's my grandma. This is my grandpa. I have more siblings than just Jaden, by the way. I have like five siblings total, except he's with me 24-7. So he's really the only person I am like really, really close with. Um, but I go over to their house all the time, and I'm really close to them. And about six and a half months ago, seven months ago, my grandpa was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. And he was told that he had two weeks on him. And so like we had like, we were getting all this stuff down. We were there for like, oh, like months straight. And it was rough. And then we're like, oh, he's fine. He's doing great. And then, well, he, he wasn't like, he had been putting off going to the doctors for like three and a half years for pain. And then he was like, we we're like, oh, he's good now. We're fine. And then about, a month ago, he started getting really, really bad, and two weeks ago, the first day of school was when he passed away, and uh, that was rough. So it's been a good couple weeks. Uh, no, but we used to, we hang out there all the time, and I basically grew up at their house. And after these hard times, I met Trevor two years ago, and he has made my life better and made the hard times from everything that I go through a lot better. And about six and a half months ago, I met Corinne, and we'll, we were in the same choir class in sixth grade, and I hadn't even known it. Like, I had, like, recognized that she sat behind me, but I didn't actually, like, oh, hey, how are you? What's your name? What are you doing? And then we became friends, like, six and a half months ago, and that was three months later, and she is awesome and super weird. And <laughs> she told me when Birds we first of a started feather flock together. <laughs> she told me when we start, first started becoming friends, she's like, you know, I didn't talk to you because I thought you were cool. And I was like, 
I'm not cool. She was like, <laughs> she was like, she was like, I thought you were a cool kid. And gotcha. I was like, yeah, thanks. So that's basically how we became friends. When she said she thought I was cool. I'm not. To sum up my life adventures. What's I hit the middle one first. I want, no, no, you do whatever you got to do. I want to know what's up with that house. All right, cool. This is the John Pratt Mosaic House. It's about a mile away from my house. And he was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. Okay. Like, Brian Wilson had, like, uh, schiz, schiz active, something like that. Something funky. Yeah. But he, like, this is how he, like, expressed himself. And I love it. And I go there like constantly. It's right off of M20. Yeah. I've passed is. it for years and I always wonder is, what is going on. It is amazing. Yes. Uh, what I wanted to say was we g I go on adventures and my future is basically, I'm letting the future decide that. I mean, I'm going to college to become an English major, but Whoa. I like traveling and going places and I like being with people. Good for you. And. So you know this guy? You've talked to this guy and everything? No, he died. Okay, I didn't know. Who's in the house now? Uh, nobody. Uh, the, uh, the, in, the walls, like, look just like that. Yeah, yeah, the that's insides, just what they do. And they've taken them out and put them, they're putting them in a museum right now. No kidding. So the inside is, like, completely empty and there's, sure. like, like, water flooding inside. So they're right. planning on, like, just, like, restoring the inside for gotcha. that. Gotcha. Wow, that's just, thank you. But thank, it is amazing. You. And there's, like, a whole backside and everything to it. Um, down here to the right, we meant to, it was me and my brother, and then my other brother, Jaden Lewis. We, uh, went to go to a cemetery. Right, keep going. We went to go to a cemetery, an abandoned cemetery, and it was up by Grayling. And we got about a half a mile away, and the road started getting really narrow and really sketchy, and it became like a two-track because it was like this really old cemetery. And my brother was like, can we turn around now? And I was like, Jaden, we drove an hour and a half to get here. We're not turning around now. He's like, uh, and then this guy started like coming down the track and Jane's like, this is the guy who would show up with a shovel for us. <laughs> and then, so we started just like backing back down this two track and we ended up not finding the cemetery. And so we ended up just going to, uh, Cadillac instead, but they have a beautiful place there, and Jane's like, yes, this is a lot less sketchy, so, and those are just some of my adventures that I like to continue to go on, and they still like to be, and that's all I got. Cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on.